Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday, and that means that we are using Teller Knight. So you're probably looking at the title and you're like, really Daniel? Really? That's the title? Yeah, because it's, 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 it's really big. Like, let me explain. I have not cut my hair, like, off in like, mm, I want to say six years. Yeah. So pretty much two times the amount that I've been doing YouTube. Like, that's how long in. Even with pot, I still open up just garbage. Like, ugh. Ugh, that's fine. Go ahead and take you. Just garbage. Yeah, I'll go ahead and normal summon you, because at least I can get in the gate out of it, but ugh. Uh, yeah, like, two times the time, the amount that I've been doing YouTube, that's how long it's been since I've literally cut my- Like, I would, you know, do my hair, and then trim it up, and it would be shorter at times, but there's never been a time where I'm just straight up, like, bald. Like, I'm, I'm pretty much bald. Like, you guys will see uh, on live videos on Thursday, but yeah, I have no hair. I'm bald. You know, I even, I even shaved too, so yeah, no hair and no beard anymore. Just shaved it down to, you know, mustache and a little goatee. Like, you know, no more hair, no more hair. So, really, I, I started doing my hair, like, the way that I did it, you know, where it was straight. Uh, back, like, sophomore year, you know, uh, now when I used to see my dad, that I first time I saw my dad perm his hair and, you know, he has, you know, straight hair for a black guy. I was like, wow, that's so cool. You know, I, I want to do that with my hair. So, uh, of course, uh, hmm, think about negating that just because it seems like this, this, this deck relies all about that card. So, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and negate that and draw a card and hopefully draw into the, a Deneb or something to give me the Deneb. Yes, right, good. Yeah, I'll, I'll negate that. I'll negate that. You know, especially since you search for it, and then because you guys know how I feel about tunes, I hate tunes. So to go ahead and stop you from tuning it up, that's fine. That's fine with me. You know, but uh, you know, I thought it was so cool. So then I started perming my hair, and uh, usually I would perm my hair pretty much every three months. Three months I would perm my hair to you know re-straighten it because you know my I'm still you know despite the perm I still have black man's hair. It would, you know, new growth, and it would just return into what it is. So every three months, I would have to reperm it. But this time, I mean, I didn't perm my hair for, uh, I want to say six months. Like, from uh, January all the way till now July, the end of July, where I didn't, instead of repermanent, I decided to cut it off. Because at that point, it was so unruly. It was like, instead of having straight hair, my hair started to turn it into, like, dreadlocks. Like, it was that bad. Like, it was like... I, no one can fight this hair, and you know what? I I literally up and decided, you know, I was I was like, you know what? Let me take a pair of scissors and cut it all out, like all the long parts of my hair. Like you guys for a while have not seen my hair. Like if you, if you're on my Skype, that picture, that's with my long hair. If you can, if you really want to see it that bad, click on uh. There's links in the description. There's a link to my Facebook. Evil Master Facebook. Click that. The picture's in there. That's when I have my long hair. <laughs> and like I said, that's how that's how my hair was. Uh, now, mm, <laughs> I'm trying to think what I want to do, because I could go ahead and go Unuk, then Unuk Sendineb, activate the Oasis, Oasis, go ahead and summon me back the Altair, Altair summon Deneb, search, yeah, and then go into Triv, in which I will Triv him, put those capsules back in his damn hand, and that will be the end of those cards, you will never see these cards again, so, I'm totally fine with you never getting them cards. So then we'll go ahead and activate Oasis. Some of the Altair, Altair, some of the Deneb. Good old classic Teller Knights. So I would usually just go ahead and keep doing my hair, straighten it, keep straightening it, keep straightening it, you know, trim it up because after I redid the perm, it, it was like uneven, so I had to trim it up. But you know, this time I, I decided to go ahead and cut it all off. I, I Nope, I don't want hair for right now. I want to start all over because it was just so unruly. You know, and you got to pro. And you, I even had a con someone co comment and compliment me on my hat. And while I do generally enjoy wearing fedoras and wearing hats, uh, the, one of the reasons why I wore a hat is because I was so uh, lazy. Oh wow, I should have quit before attacking. I could have got 500 more damage in. My bad. My bad. I'm going to equip it with my powerful quit spell that I love. Love this quit spell. So. Uh, I, would, I was wearing it because I was too lazy to do my hair, slash, my hair is difficult to fight. Like, it was like, take a shower, you know, wash my hair, and, you know, it'd be nice for, like, <laughs> for, like, a second, for, like, not even the night before next morning. It's just so, un so difficult to deal with. Like, I couldn't even brush it. It was just, like, difficult to deal with. So, 
Yep, literally just took a pair of scissors and just went chip, chip, chip and cut it all out. And it's not like hair was everywhere because it was so twisted up and in clumps that it was it would literally just be in chunks. You know? And uh, then the next day, i.e., uh, this was on uh, Saturday night that I decided to cut off all my hair. And Sunday morning, uh, you know, uh, ask Melvin. And for you guys know, you want to know a little bit of my personal life, Melvin is not my dad. All right. There's my dad who I have not seen in three years. Like, I haven't seen my dad since I was like 17, going on 18 before my graduation. It's the last time I've seen him. And now I'm 21. So, yeah. So, my dad has not seen adult me at all. Like, no. Uh, it was not my dad. He's been there, you know. You know, when I was younger, you know, he used to, all the time he's like, I remember when you were just a little youngster and we used to, you know, toss around the football. Remember that day? I'm like, no, Melvin, no, I don't remember that. But uh, definitely, um, Melvin is like a father to me, you know, he's there, definitely there for me. But uh, I asked him and I was like, hey, can you do me a favor? He's like, well, yeah, sure, what's up? Like, can you uh, cut my hair for me? And he took the clippers and went, meow, meow, and just cut off all my hair. I know, I know, mom's standing there, she's like, oh my god, he's bald. <laughs> She has not seen me like this in years, years, people. Like, it, it's, a, it's a big thing. Like, uh, by the time you guys see this video, uh, I will have seen friends like Remy and Fonzo. And, you know, at this point, they don't even know. So they're going to be like, what? <laughs> yeah, that all my hair is just gone. It's just, it's, it's gone. It's not on my head anymore. Mm, I think I'm going to go ahead and send the Deneb and search for the Vega. So next time I can go Vega Altair and then... Yep, get my plays on. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make them use the resources. Like I said, this, this card's not gonna survive another turn. And I'll just go ahead and trim and pop it next turn. Yep, get rid of that tin cannon. I said, you're not gonna play solitary here. You're too slow. You're way too slow to keep up with the Teller Knights. And it's gonna be your downfall, sir. Let's see, you still gotta wait one more turn on this. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and summon and pop it. Like, this is over. It's over, man. Go ahead and pick another card out of your hand with Triv, unless, of course, he said something, but Alpha, when you pull off Alpha, it's a very powerful equip spell, definitely. Yeah, just be like, oh, yeah, plus 500 attack defense. Also, it's unaffected by your opponent's card effects, period. Spells, traps, monster effects, unaffected. Love it. Love this card. For a fun Teleron deck. Of course, professional Teleron decks, they just run, like, 20 traps. I don't run that many traps, and run this card, because I like it for a fun play. Anyway, uh... I'm bald. I'm bald. I'm shaved. Uh, looks weird for me right now. Still looking at myself in the mirror. I'm just like, you look so weird. You know, maybe when I grow a little bit more of my hair back, but, you know. And then my beard is gone, you know, for what I had of a beard. You know, if you guys saw my recent, uh, you know, live videos that I've done since I've came back from my break and changed the channel, I've had a little bit of a beard just because. I've been too lazy to shave, like, it's, it's literally been like, eh, why, you know? It has literally been like, why should I go out my way to shave? It's like, who am I trying to impress? The same reason why I didn't do my hair, it's like, who, you know, who am I trying to impress? I'm not planning on going back to college anytime soon, you know? I still got a whole month before the next semester starts, and, uh, even semester starts, I, I only have two classes, they're both online classes. And then I, I said, that's the end of me being at community college. I should go to university and get my bachelor's degree. So, you know, who am I trying to impress, you know? So, I was just letting everything grow out. Everything, everything grow out. Like, um, hair growing out crazy and unruly. Beard growing it because I didn't feel like shaving. Who am I trying to impress? Nails growing super long. <laughs> I was just, I was getting lazy with it. I was getting lazy with the upkeep of my appearance. And... That's bad, that's bad, you know, I shouldn't get lazy like that, so clearly this duel is over, yeah, go ahead and scoop it up, scoop it up, but, because <laughs> I was just going to clip another alpha, 3,000 monsters, I was pretty much going to have essentially a killer, you know, just a 3,000 monster that's unaffected by my opponent's cards, like, power, the power, <sighs> I love this card, it's just kind of cloggy, but I still like it, so we're going to go ahead and get another duel in, bear back, alright, back with another duel, uh, besides that, just a lot of misfortune and tedious things have been happening, like, uh... Alright, well, I have Foolish, so that, that's good. Uh, let's see, another person with no extra deck. Like, what's up with me dueling people with no extra deck? Oh, it's Kleez. Alright, well, we'll see if he turbos it up. Oh, he's got that, so... Let's see if he pulls up the turbo. The problem, I don't think he's got the turbo, though. I do not think that he's got Killer, because 
laser quip is a waste of a uh, summon. You know, I would know. You know, I'm using this deck, and uh, let's just go ahead and see what he's got. But clearly, I didn't open up too fantastically to be doing. It would have been much better if I went first. If I went first, oh, definitely. But going second, this duel is definitely going to be a challenge to say the least. Yeah, especially if he tributes to a clean monster and it becomes unaffected by, you know, that's it. So he's going to go ahead and attempt him some. One. Two. Wow. I just summoned two stealths. Then tribute those two for the third stealth that you just happened to open up with three stealths. Shell. Okay. And then draw two because of Monolith, of course. Hmm. Yeah, he's an up See, if he if this was another Klee monster, then he would have totally had it. You know, he would have totally had the the the, the turbo. Cause you're over one, right? Yeah. Cause this was another Klee. Because instead of searching for Monolith, he could have searched for Killer, played Stealth, played Scout, time to summon three. You know, time to summon the other Klee that he got, one Stealth, one Shell, and tribute off for Killer. But because of a uh, laser clip, which like I said, I was think I was concerned in my Klee waste. It's a waste. So I gotta, I gotta deal with this. It's gonna be very difficult for me to go ahead and deal with this. Like I said, this hand would have been much better if I wouldn't went first, but of course I went second, so. Ah, the snuggle shall be real. That. That. I said, I don't think I can win this duel. Like I said, I still think Cleese are much, 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 much stronger than Teller Knight, so this is gonna be a difficult duel. So during my opponent's draw phase, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Call of the Haunted. Which I don't like to do, because I'm gonna get tore up by the shell, which is, you know, unaffected by my Teller Knights and shit. It's gonna be difficult to go ahead and take him out. Uh, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna beat, or at least attempt to. Like I said, my, it's not looking too hot. So of course, he's gonna go ahead and activate Upstart. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna need them life points. Terraforming. What are you gonna search for? Chicken? Another laser clip. I don't run one, let alone multiples, like Wow, okay. Oh, I'm gonna lose to a bad clip player. Multiple laser clip. Mm, okay. Like that, that's that's a no no. Nah, you don't need that. No, you don't need that. Stop it with the damn scout. Shit. You want to you want to attack me twice? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's fine. So I took out both his scouts. Good. I know you're. I know you're all your plays now. I know your entire hand and everything. All right. So I just need to. If I could get rid of him. Oh well, I have finished chain now. Then I can tear him up. Uh, definitely. Uh, gonna go ahead and. Uh, uh, I don't think I can. I was actually gonna say gonna, definitely gonna go ahead and go into Deltaros, but I can't even go into Deltaros actually. Nope, can't go into Deltros. Hmm. Yeah, because I can go Altair, Altair, summon the Neb. The Neb search. I can go into Castell, which wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, because I, I just want to get rid of you. And only Telenite monsters can attack if I activate Altair. Fat. What if I go... No, wait, I can go to Triv. Oh, I can go. I can go to Triv. I just want to get rid of this. So, yes, you know what? It might be best to Triv, because I want these Call of the Hunts back. So we'll go ahead and search Vega. I'm going to go Vega. Yes. Summon Neb. Which I only get to fight once per turn. The problem is that I don't care about you having this, you have multiple laser clips. I already have a call hunter, yeah, I'm gonna go into Deltros. I'm definitely gonna go into Del- ooh. I could go into you. 
And Yuma definitely can go ahead and run over the shell. The only thing I'm worried about is him top decking into, of course, a scale 9 and Pendulum summoning all his shit back, so. And I have the Phoenix Chain to go ahead and deal with him, so yeah, we'll go ahead and go into Deltros. I said, maybe because a good cl pl Klee player. I said, this deck can handle uh, Turbo, Tower Turbo, because uh, I do have. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Him. Who, if I use three materials, will be unaffected by. Can't be sure of battle, so when we we'll crash, I'll kill you. Gain slime and attack and defense, so I'll be at 3,000. And then the third, I'll be unaffected by the card effects, which I'll be unaffected by the killer drop, so. So, now the only thing that he's got is a shell that's going to be top decking, but even if he top decks, he can't top deck into a double scale. He has no more scouts, so I guess the best card he could top deck into would be, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, damn, what's the name of that card? For the love of God, me, I cannot remember the name of that card. Uh, climate change. Climate change would be the best top deck, but of course he didn't. He just drew into the bad Klee that you had to run in turbo, but you shouldn't run in regular Klee's. And I think I might be able to control this duel now. <laughs> so let me go ahead and see what I want to do. All right, I think I know what I want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and activate Deltros effect. Damn, I want to do that. I, I want the Fiendish Chain back, of course, but then I don't want to destroy the shell. But then I want the shell to go away. So, not looking good. I might have to return the shell back to his hand, but at this point, it might not be terrible. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and activate you. Blow you up. Then I'm going to go ahead and activate Call of the Haunted. Now I can go Altair, Altair, Summon Deneb, Search, Activate Call the Haunt, and Summon, and go into Triv. I'll get rid of my Deltras for a Triv. Definitely. Definitely go ahead and do that. It's funny that he's only as well off as he is right now, it's just because I didn't go first. You know, if I went first, then the duel would have definitely been different, but I'm still, you know, an advantage, just... He's a bad clue player, running multiple of this field spell that you shouldn't even run one of, like. So, of course, now he is affected by my triv. Triv. Turn everything. It'd be, it'd be great if I can go ahead and pick out the the shell, but, you know. No, I'm gonna say that's, that's literally like one in a... Now I just gotta hope that he doesn't top deck into a scale dependent something because he has like oh oh he has a lot so oh it may not have been the best play but you know I have multiple call of the haunted and even if he pendulum summon does not like he can even summon you know uh uh summon and search for your tribute so. There we go. I think Shell is, I want to say scale 9, so he needs scale 1. Alright, upstart. The least thing he could do is Pendo Summon and block. Alright, he's gonna go ahead and play his laser clip. So, I already knew you had that. You still have one laser clip, you have a shell in your hand. Alright, there's Shell. Alright, got that. Didn't you do that backwards? Whatever, that's fine. Well, I guess you only get one summon. And there, your scale one, and your what scale? What scale are you, Shell? Are you one? No, you're nine. You could have pendulum summoned. Wow, bad Telenite player. I mean, Telenite player, Klee player. But hey, Klee's one of the best decks, but you know, you gotta you can't just pick it up and play with ease. You gotta actually put some work into it, so clearly my opponent here. But we'll go ahead and just summon a whole bunch of tellers. 
because this upcoming turn I will probably go ahead and drop the Ragna whatever his face is. Anyway, uh, YouTube changed, my annotation are broke, so that took an hour to do that. Uh, my class ring that I've been haven't been able to wear in a couple years because my fingers got a lot bigger than I was you know, when I was just a kid. Uh, the stone came out, which sucks, and the snuggles are so real. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and activate Call of Haunted Summon, then Vega Summon, Deneb Summon, and then go for Ragna. who will, of course, just run this guy over my battle, so. That's it, at this point, you, you're you you're out. <laughs> That's it, I've, I've won. I have beaten Cleese because this Klee player is bad. Make sure not to activate Altair, because I still want to attack. Multiple warriors? Let's go ahead and number you. One, two, three, four, five. Which, of course, I can't wipe. Like, uh, once per turn, you control all cards you don't control. Yeah, all I can destroy is Felt Spell. So, get rid of that Felt Spell. You don't need it. Then attack with the champion. Yep, yep. Skip it up. I win. Yeah, Marky. Marky Mark, I'm from assuming you're a fan of Markiplier. Marky Mark noob. Yeah. Yeah, you are a noob with Cleese. Like terraforming, search for laser clip, terraforming, search for laser clip, like really nigga? You're running laser clip and terraforming for the laser clip? Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I thought you were running maybe terraforming for it. Chicken race. Like, mm-mm. No 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 no. No no no. I outpissed you. Alright. Uh, what else? What else? Fucking dealing with the bank, like, I, I have a credit card, I have a credit, college credit card. I went on to check, you know, how much I had left on my credit card. I'll be paying off my credit card bill when I get my college money in uh, August slash September. And all of a sudden, my card is overcharged. I'm like, what the heck? I didn't put, you know, all this on my credit card. So I check, all of a sudden, I have this charge for like $380 from this life insurance thing in Reno, Nevada, I'm like, what? No, 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 no. This disability insurance in Reno, Nevada. I've never even been to Reno. Like, I live in I live in Nevada, but not Reno. I live in Las Vegas. So I call up the bank, and I'm just like, what is this? This isn't, no, this isn't my charge. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> Take this off. I'm 21. Of course, I'm not having dis disability insurance and shit like that. No. <laughs> so, and now I gotta deal with the bank and that, and, you know, so, so apparently someone got in access to my card, which sucks. So I'm just like, send me a new card. You know, and uh, take that off, you know, take that off. Definitely, no, 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 you know. Like, even even if I would do something like that, why would I do something that would charge overdraft my card? Like, I had, like, $360 left, and that charged, like, 380 So now they're like, you owe money, you're overdraft, and, you know, we're going to tear up your card and ruin your credit. Like, no, 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 don't ruin my credit. Like, do not do that to me, hello? And the funny thing is that... Uh, the card is with Wells Fargo, but the bank that I'm with is Bank of America. And every time I go to Bank of America, they're like, hey, you know, you can get a credit card. You know, you can get a credit card. Yes, your credit's really good. You can get a college credit card. And they're like, yeah, I was told in these two credit cards. So I can go get that credit card and then pay off my credit, current credit card. And that's how you get in a lot of trouble, people. Don't do that. But uh, probably when I get my college money, I'll pick it up just because it has 0% interest for the first uh, year. So like I said, I kept up with this credit card, and that one has 0% interest. So, uh yeah, I'll probably go pick that up. Have two credit cards and you know, nice chunk of money because college keeps me afloat. <laughs> but you got wait. I'm a freaking freaking YouTuber, so I'm filthy rich. I'm rolling in it, just cash money. Hello, no. But uh, yeah, I'm 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 pretty much bald. I'm nice and shaven, bald head, just rubbing my own bald head, and no beard, just mustache and goatee. It still look. I mean, I look older, I guess, you know. But you know, as soon as I grow it out, I'll probably just go ahead and perm it again. <laughs> And just, you know, keep up with my hair. Yep. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode of Daily Duels. So, you guys are probably wondering, because, of course, this past weekend you didn't get any league. Where's the league? It's going to start on August 1st, this upcoming Saturday, August 1st. So, look forward to it, people. I hope you guys are hyped. I'm hyped. I'm ready. And I hope you guys will enjoy. Uh, support it by liking and favoring all the videos, spreading the word about the league. 
you know, I try to get in contact with a whole bunch of big YouTubers to spread the word, and either they never message me back or they forgot. And hey, that's what happens when you get big. You get really self-centered and big-headed. And hopefully, hopefully, I become big one day. And hopefully, if I do, I won't be like that because there's just no point. And you know, you're nothing without your viewers and subscribers. Be humble and. You know, you're supposed to help the community, and then, you know, there's people that, you know, talk about how Yu-Gi-Oh! is a community, yu gi tubing is a community, but then they do nothing to help others, so, how is that a community? You're just, you're, you're just a, sh a selfish empire, it's like literally like, fucking, uh, yu gi tubing is like feudal Japan, and each big channel is a warlord, and, you know, they, they hold on to their subscribers, and rarely do they ever, you know, uh, associate with other YouTubers, unless, of course, then you get in some to some beef, so it's like, oh, Asian Eyes is Mega Capital G, and then Vexicus has to give his opinion on it. It's just like, no, no, no. Like, really? It's just stupid. But hey, that's yu tubing for you. I decided to just wrap myself up in it, so... <sighs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So, like I said, the live video on Thursday, you'll see me bald. I don't wear a hat. I hope you guys are looking forward to me being bald, yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's out in your hair. Six years. Six years. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Daily Duels. Of course, uh, Tag Tuesday. Using trains. Joined by, you will find out, you know. Also, uh, tell me what you guys think. How, how are you guys faring with the content, you know? Because so far, uh, you know, Friday's kind of ticked me off, but I'm glad I can go ahead and take off on the weekends, come back nice and refreshed, like today, batteries recharged, in a good mood, play some Yu-Gi-Oh! And I believe, you know, the guys are getting the content, like I said, 15 videos a week still, it's just great, and, you know, with League starting up, you guys will get that too, so, and, uh, you know, League doesn't take a little, doesn't take anything, it's not like I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! All I gotta do is sit there and talk, so, and be a commentator, it's literally like a glorified band of commentary, so, you know, that's fine, and, uh, bringing content to you guys. Anyway, tell me what you guys think, uh, how you guys are faring with, uh, you know, the tag partners and daily duels and just the channel in general. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yep, I will see you guys tomorrow with, of course, the Undo commentary, Vitamin Y using uh, Labradar U-Bell, and daily duels uh, tag Tuesday joined by, you will find out. I love the mysterious factor of the tags. Like, you don't know who's going to be there until all of a sudden you see the video uploaded, so... It's not like, yep, this is Saturday, so, you know, you're definitely going to get, you know, a mega chaos. Like, no. Maybe it'll be made chaos, maybe it won't. You'll find out. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.